Where I live is the most rural district in the state. The closest Walmart is the better of 50, 55 miles away. Our population was 1,600 people. Now it's down to like 840. People might move here for a little bit, but they don't stay long. I would die for a minimum wage job here, but there's really not any. I have to leave my children here with my stepfather for months at a time, and I have to drive all the way to the Metroplex, which is at least two and a half hours from here. Working seven days a week, 12-hour days, you know, it's like giving up being a mom. I don't want to get rich, I just want to pay my bills. There's a lot of history in these communities out here. You know, our family's been in this county almost 125 years, uh, primarily ranching. There is one thing about rural America is the value system that you learn in the rural America is the, the fabric of our society. To me, I think it's very important to keep these rural communities vibrant, investing in them. One of the biggest things that I've noticed is that there's a lack of vision for small towns. It seems like the only vision that people have is to escape. Back when I was a kid, there were tons of young families, but right now there's really no one. And really the only ones who were able to stay are plumbers and electricians. Initiatives and programs that would enable people to have opportunities to stay in their hometown if they wanted to would be amazing. While many areas of Texas are growing, many small towns in the heartland of Texas are suffering from unnecessary population loss and economic decay. A decline in high paying jobs have made it difficult for families to put down roots in communities they love. I have three boys. Daniel is my youngest. He has a really good heart. He doesn't exactly know what it is that he wants to do, but he know he wants to be able to support himself. Here in Port Arthur, there's a lot of violence. You know, and most of the violence and drugs come from the guys because they have nothing else to do. So with Daniel, I just didn't want to take that chance. I wanted to prepare him with the skills that's needed to pursue a job, not just a job, but a career. A young girl that I know that just recently dropped out, genius kid, never not succeeded at anything that she's done. And she just doesn't have nowhere to go to school. She, it's not that she didn't want to go to school. She didn't want to go to our school. I don't know of anything for her to do. If she had more opportunity, it would be life changing. In this community, we have only one, basically one educational option, and that is public school. The school is there to educate on certain curriculums and give a base foundation of knowledge. I firmly believe that the school is not to prepare the individual for, for life. That's the parent's responsibility. I came across the GTEC flyer. I just thought that it would be a good idea for him to get into the program so that he could get a fresh start on his future. There are jobs here as far as the refinery is concerned where everybody can work but everybody doesn't have the skills to work. So I presented the flyer to Daniel. I just looked into it and it shows you all your basic knowledge of hand tools, craft skills, welding. I love working with my hands, getting physical with things, so the trade will really do me well. Now his confidence level is so high, he came with all these ideas. Okay, I can start as a laborer and I can work my way up to welding. And you know, it was just a joy to hear that for a 17-year-old to just turn on a switch like that. You know, all of a sudden now, he knows what he wants to do. If more people in small towns will have access to industrial classes like this, I feel like it will be very beneficial to others around the community. We're providing people with the service and skills that they could provide for themselves. When you could make uh, $21 an hour and you're 18 years old, some of your parents that's not making that. So it actually opened the door for a young person to be independent immediately. Because in a small town like this, there's not much to offer the children. So when programs like this come up, I think that every parent should jump on it and get their children involved. Because you don't have to look for your child. You know where he is. You know, you know that he's in training. You know that he's doing something to better his life. With a trade like welding or commercial electrical, you can literally show up on a job site and tell them you know how to weld or you know how to do commercial electrical. And they'll ask you to, to do it right there on the spot. There was a welding 
employer that came to talk to us and she said if you pass come talk to me and I'll have a job for you right away and so it's it's open game it would be awesome for um, myself and for my kids to have all those opportunities from the city right here the solution is parent empowerment parent empowerment places trust back with parents by taking the state funds allocated to each student and placing it in individual education savings accounts for parents to direct as they see fit. This allows them to use that funding for workforce training, whether that's through a technical school, community college, or on-the-job training. High school students could attend the community high school in the morning and attend trade school, community college, or a certification provider in the afternoon, opening up the opportunity for them to enter high-paying jobs right out of high school. Young people could stay in and around their hometown after graduation to fill workforce gaps. Instead of being dependent on one particular school, parents can choose what is best for their child, leading to more training, jobs, innovation, and opportunities for people to live, thrive, and grow in all Texas communities. Don't ever give this up. This is what we work our butts off for, to come and get a piece of this to retreat to. We have room. We know what quiet is. <laughs> I grew up seeing the stars. And I want my kids to be able to grow up seeing the stars too, but without being poor. I think it's at the utmost importance that, you know, parents are empowered by this opportunity because you can learn things about your children. You can see their confidence build. You can see the strive in them. And it changes the dynamic of the parent-child relationship as well. Other states that have done this, it is successful by having these educational options. You know, every student learns different. Every person learns different. Parents and try to understand what, how your child learns, what environment they excel in and what environments that they don't. Parents need to be empowered.